Alright, what's going on guys? Uh, welcome back to an episode of Final Fantasy VII. Uh, there is going to be something different for this episode, because I fucked up on this episode. Uh, the audio got a little too fucked up, um, and I didn't... I It's too fucked up for me. Um, well, the voice part of the audio anyway. Uh, the actual game audio is fine. Um, but as for the voice, the, the commentary, it's shit. <laughs> I fucked up on it. Um, it's I can't do anything to remotely bring it back to the way it was. So you're just gonna have to live with me commentary after this, after the fact. So this entire episode, I'm just on the Shinra boat, um, and I talk to people. Blah blah blah. Nothing really happens. Uh, I do get lost, uh, as per usual. Um, you know, wouldn't be an episode of the LP without me getting lost, or without me not knowing what I'm doing. Um, so for the first couple minutes, three four minutes or so, I'm just talking to my squad mates, um, and I'm getting the date mechanics up. Um, I'm getting the Tifa up and the Ares low, um, and I eventually fumble my way over to Barret, which I actually forgot how to do. Um, I go talk to Yuffie, attempting to, uh, get that all materia that's right behind her, but I remember I can't because, um, something hasn't triggered yet. Um, and I spent a couple minutes trying to figure out what to do because I thought I had to talk to all my squad mates or just everybody on the ship. Um, but I realize a little later um, that I have to go back downstairs and talk to Aerith. So I think I figured out right here that I go talk to Aerith again and that says... Um, Alright, I talked to this guy, I talked to Yuffie, then I talked to Aerith again. I think I gave her another tranquilizer, or, no, she just talked to me, I talked to Aerith, there he is. That triggers Barret, and that allows me to go to the front of the ship, where this guy was blocking it. So, now that there's Barret, like, you could see that Rufus and Heidegger are just there and they should they could talk to they could like look out the window and see Barrett and Cloud just peeking in like not even remotely like go you could even glancing in their direction you could see and they're like oh hey there's people looking in at us shouldn't they be working I right, even still it's I don't know I save it right there um, and I do a little prep work right here for the upcoming boss. Um, I originally thought I was going to go with Barret and Red 13, but I drop Barret in favor of Tifa uh, because I feel that Tifa would be the better option, mainly because she already had all the materia equipped to her and I didn't want to fuck with that. Um, but Barrett was the better option in hindsight, or is the better option in hindsight, because he, um, he just deals more damage overall. Uh, and everybody's dead right here, so that can only end well. There's the all materia, and I go in here, get into a couple fights, um, cut him out, obviously, because it's just random fighting. Um, as I've said before, I'm only going to show you the fights that are absolutely crucial to the storyline, um, and I'm going to cut out every other fight. Um, like, I'm only going to show you bosses and mandatory fights that are, like, integral to the storyline. Like, there's a fight coming up on the other... 
ton and I guess once we get to Casa del Sol uh, it's not really a boss fight but it's interesting to the story like it's an optional boss but it's not really a boss I don't know I'll, I'll, I'll point it out to you guys when I get to it but at this point uh, Sephiroth comes in through the woodwork and I don't know how he can just phase through solid objects um, and Sephiroth doesn't remember Cloud which is kind of shitty for Cloud because Sephiroth gives no fucks and at this point uh, we witness our first thing of Genova uh, and Genova was smart to cast stop on me um, first but sadly it misses and this fight is just a little too long for me um, Granted, it's it's a pretty easy fight, but I do almost die. Uh, Cloud does get stopped once, but he recovers from it shortly thereafter. Uh, and that limit actually did quite a bit of damage, just like one tenth of her health out there. And I see if Demi does anything, uh, but I quickly realize that it does absolutely nothing. It does zero damage to her. Um, so it's really not worth it. And I just, I just continuously spam um, spells on it. I sense it here, realize that it has 4,000 health, and it will quickly try to spam the shit out of me and just laser the fuck out of me, almost killing people in the process. God, fucking damn it! I think I just. Um, resume spamming Quake on it with Cloud uh, through the rest of the game, uh, the rest of the thing. Um, I... God damn. At this point, I think I, I heal the party members with Tifa as soon as I'm done summoning Chuck Boat. Uh, and then I just continuously spam Quake with Cloud. So, I think I just give up with Red 13 until he gets his limit, and, well, he missed, so that's kind of shitty. Um, I just constantly spam fire with uh, Red 13, I cast Quake with Cloud, and I just summon Chocobo with Tifa for the rest of the game. Uh, Tifa is kind of like my main healer, even though that should be Aerith, but, um, I don't like Aerith. She's too weak. And then I make the mistake of doing something stupid right here. I was attempting to go for hit on that third one, but I end up missing both Somersault and Water Kick with Tifa's limit. So it really just drugged this fight out more. Drug? Drag? I don't know. I don't care. I think I attack Cloud and that gets him out of stop. Um, I think it just had to finish with the Genova turn for Cloud to come back up, uh, which I really didn't think was going to work. Like, I thought um, killing or attacking Cloud uh, when with while he was stopped, I thought it was just going to um, not work. I thought it was going to just leave him uh, as it was, just stop, and I didn't think anything could come of it. Uh, but now I think that I realize when someone is incapacitated as they are, um, when they can't attack, uh, when they're stopped, when they're frozen, or when they're um, just with disease, I guess you could say, or status ailment, um, they, I guess, hitting it becomes uh, the best option for them. And I think I st Tifa gets stopped here, and then I just end up killing it because it had 8 health. And that's fucking ridiculous for a boss to have 8 health and still be able to stop Tifa in her tracks. That's just dumb. That is really just dumb. I get the white cape here, which I think prevents Frog. Um, that is good because I hate frog. 
Uh, it's s stupid. It is so stupid. Frog is the ailment of casting you into a frog and you doing one damage and you cannot get out of frog unless you take damage. Uh, which is really fucking annoying. Um, or something like that. I think you deal one damage, but you you can't act access your limit break, and you remain in frog unless you turn in cornucopia or something. Maiden's kiss, whatever. Um, I think it's Maiden's kiss. Um, so Cloud clears up the storyline uh, as far as Sephiroth, and Sephiroth is alive and well. Uh, I grab the Ifrit Materia, which is a fire summon, um, and the boat goes to Casa del Sol in the longest boat ride of the goddamn existence of the world. Uh, and then the boat kind of does a weird thing when it uh, parks, it flips around 180 degrees or 270 or whatever the hell it is. And it parks backwards, uh, which I don't really. <laughs> understand I mean how the hell are you gonna park backwards after doing that it just makes no goddamn sense to me um, and apparently everybody is just quick to get out of their Shinra uniforms um, Aerith comments on Barrett's sailor suit and Yuffie jumps off of the goddamn boat in a display of athleticism and Yuffie is 16 I don't know why Yuffie's even with us I don't know I don't understand it Apparently, Cloud is leaving, or Barrett's leaving, because <laughs> Red Thirteen's nose is drying, and apparently Yuffie's is too. Um, Barrett is kind of fed up with Cloud being leader or something. Um, apparently, Yuffie wants a tan, um, but. I don't give a shit about Aerith because, or not you if you want to stand. Aerith wants a tan. Wow, what am I saying? Yeah, Aerith wants a tan, and I don't really care because I'm gonna date Tifa, and it really makes no sense. Uh, I get confused here because I'm not sure if the helicopter is coming to Costa del Sol to drop off Rufus and Heidegger, uh, because I'm not sure if they left when the, um, boat was um, when the alarm went off but I quickly realized that Rufus and Hydra came off of the boat and I didn't realize that dude in the background when um, the helicopter was landing he flew off the side <laughs> and I didn't realize that before <laughs> that's ridiculous like I had never seen that before I never really paid attention to it like I just saw it in the corner of my eye as I was commenting this and I was like huh interesting <laughs> uh, Rufus gets mad because like Sephiroth was on board Cloud and everybody else was on board and Rufus is like do your goddamn job Heidegger's like uh fuck Ru Heidegger just goes around punching people into the fucking water <laughs> And then he's got to punch other people, the residents to cuss it all soul in the water too. He's like fucking mad. Oh <laughs> Jesus. I can imagine Heidegger just going here right now, just like giving uh, Rufus the fucking stink eye as he like flies away. He's like, you motherfucker, I just want to kill you. <laughs> Alright, well we're in Casa del Sol and we'll be fucking around with that next time. Um, yeah, we'll be, I think we'll be doing stuff along with Casa del Sol. So I hope you guys enjoyed. I'll see you guys later.